Uh, my name is Ruben Pedersen. I'm Nati Rangiti from Te Arawa and Tuhoe Rangi and my Tuhoe. Uh, I am a painter and I've been painting probably full time for the last, if it's 2007, five years. The main themes and ideas I, I explore are usually honouring the dead. Um, I feel like I've gone to more funerals than weddings in my life. So death has very much been a big part of it. And I like to honour the, uh, the people that have touched me importantly, like my parents and stuff. And so maybe the theme I think that always runs through my work is um, spirituality and Māori philosophy. And, uh, but putting these into Western, uh, Western aesthetics or principles of Western aesthetics that don't necessarily look uh, traditionally Māori. Although the celebratory may come across as the strongest point of reference, but history is especially behind the core Fai Fai was about the death of my father. The uh, fabric patterns from 2004 were um, honouring my mother's uh, side of the family and her suicide and alcoholism. So what sits as veils behind works is not necessarily celebratory. The inspiration behind both those series of paintings was not celebratory but quite melancholic and, and uh, emotional, emotionally charged. But something that came out of it was looked celebratory. And I think what <clears throat> the optical series from 2005, 2006 referenced was um, the energy side of spirituality. And my primary focus with those works was um, based around the installation at Rickerton House for the work, Whakatata Mai, Do You See What I See? And I wanted to discuss the way that um, European, colonial European history was, um, uh, was acknowledged in this estate in, in Rickerton and Christchurch, but yet the Kaitahu and Naitahu history had not. I think like, um, the palm tree image works, which you're talking about, uh, are kitsch, but kitsch is interesting in that kitsch, the word kitsch comes from familiarity, and any, anything could be considered kitsch, you know, I even think that the icons used to represent our country are kitsch. Kitsch may be not so much in a way that I think is important to explore, or acknowledges the identity of this country, but in regard to using palm trees, they become a spiritual metaphor. And I've always um, used, used the palm trees to reference the goddess Hinengami de Poor because I, if we're going to assume what uh, the next life could be, why not create a paradise that's familiar to us as Polynesians? That of, you know, our holidays, the places we want to go to relax and to rest. I mean, I've tried to, you know, I'd love to be able to do a lecture and say that as a boy I fell in a vat of glitter or something, had some sort of strong connection to it, but maybe it's the familiarity we all have and that we're all revelers and we all celebrate and we all like parties and we've all been children and we all have had parties with glitter and we've all had uh, parties with balloons and so I think maybe this is the the thing I like most about the material that it's its interpretation is open to everybody it doesn't um, stop anybody from any culture gender um, age from being able to have a familiar a familiar a familiarity with it or a way into the work through it although I haven't seen the real art show I um, have decided to talk on video about some of the ideas behind my work because I think um, for you guys to have a chance to see real artwork, unlike 
uh, I did as a, a boy at secondary school, uh, may change your idea to the way we can think about art, the way that art should be in our lives, and the way that uh, we can have a discussion through art about contemporary ideas, about who we are as people, and maybe why we do the things we do.